In order to help us contain this outbreak and prevent as much as possible any seeding of COVID spread into the community, changes will have to be made and this will require us to adjust our routines accordingly. For the next few weeks, I'm advising Yukon residents to keep to your social bubble, whether this is your one or your two household bubble. This is a time to avoid any indoor social gatherings that do not comprise your bubble members. Keeping to your household bubble is absolutely key during this time, as COVID-19 is just a virus that's hard to control in the winter, and we're seeing that now. Every indoor gathering that we host, every coffee date we have with people outside of our bubble increases our risk of exposure. I'd rather we do this now in tandem with the rest of Canada in the effort to contain this rather now rather than months down the road. And please think of that before you go out and socialize with people outside your household bubble. A beer with a neighbor may seem innocent until a chance transmission of COVID occurs. Now, this recommendation does not change orders. It does not change the gathering guidelines that allow for indoor gatherings up to 50 or outdoors up to 100 when the gatherings are seated, organized, and supervised. And gatherings, guidelines for these sorts of gatherings are on the website and have not changed. What I'm concerned about are those spontaneous household gatherings or parties that occur indoors among people who may be good friends, but who are not in that intimate one or two household arrangement. 